How many germs can fit on a Q-tip? You give them some nutrients to munch on and let them incubate and you can see how many that swab picked up. Each one of these colonies representing a single cell we found. Where'd they come from? The things you probably touch every time you walk into a restaurant. We took a swab to menus, booths, high chairs, trays, salt and pepper shakers, and soda fountains. We took the swabs to nutrient plates, each designed to test for certain contaminants. The reason that these specific plates are, are good is that they are going to grow possible pathogens, things that could make you sick. So you're not getting just a widespread of everything, you're really trying to focus on those things that are possibly uh, contagious, possibly going to you know, cause someone to be very ill. After just a few days, you can see what's grown. Just looking at it, it doesn't look appetizing. We gave it some more time, then took these plates in for a scientific review. Dr. Amy Hurst is a life science professor at Rose State College. This is trend. She deals with this stuff all the time, but even she was surprised by our finds. For the most part, especially the plates that are for fecal contamination, it was quite shocking. So after all those tests, how did all of the items stack up? Salt and pepper shakers were good, the menus weren't too bad, everything else was <laughs> very interesting. Our tests found E. coli, salmonella, strep, and staph. There's a lot of fecal contaminant on the booths and the high chairs. Those were the two most startling locations. The booths at the three restaurants we tested were gross. The dark side of these plates test for fecal contamination. Each booth had E. coli, two had coliform bacteria, two had Staphylococcus aureus, which could be linked to a MRSA infection. On the high chairs, two had both E. coli and coliform. One of those also had Salmonella. Each had the potentially dangerous staph. And this plate shows a bacillus colony that could cause food poisoning. That doesn't mean sitting in these booths or high chairs would get you sick. But it could. And as soon as you have that chance in there, it's somewhat concerning. As for everything else, fast food trays were filled with germs, fecal contaminants, staff on one, strep on the other. This table tent where this restaurant displays its specials had all of those too. And one menu did have a small amount of E. coli. And soda fountains. Not bad. Not bad. Dr. Hurst says this is an eye opener that you should be aware of your surroundings. Don't have that. Uh, security that just because you're doing everything right and washing your hands, that doesn't mean that the place where you're eating or the people that were there before you have done that. Any other, I guess, takeaways from um, this? Eat at home. <laughs> <laughs>